So I thought I would um, actually get going learning Greek using today's presentation in Tama. Um, I have a previous video where I show how I generate these Greek questions. Um, just quickly, I'll show where they live. So this is actually a word list I generated in another video where I put in some English words and I had it automatically using AI generate some example sentences, etymology, and then here's the things where it generated English to Greek questions, Greek to English questions, and fill in the blank questions, and it tagged all of those as Greek questions. So that was uh, one video, and what I did in that video is just put a field on my day tag that automatically gave me 10 random questions. Um, so that was a good start, but um, some of these are really easy and some of these are really difficult. So what I'd really like, rather than just getting 10 random questions, every day is to get um, use based repetition algorithm to see the ones that are difficult more often uh, and I have another video where I set up a, a spaced repetition algorithm in Tana so I'm not going to talk too much about how that works but in this video I'm just going to uh, see if I can set that up and play with it and see how it feels so I've already removed you see here I've removed this field from my day tag um, and so instead of this field we're going to create a list of, I'm going to start with my Greek questions because that's what I have right now. I can easily um, add other kinds of questions that I want to do spaced repetition on later. And um, of course now I feel <laughs> stressed out. Um, let's see, I probably don't know any of these perfectly up. Let's see. But I just saw the kind was Evgeny, so... Uh, well, probably the Greek to English is much easier, so let's see. O Evgenis tropos pou milices ton palati istan exereticos. So the kind way you talked to this was was wonderful, was great, was outstanding. The polite way you spoke to the customers, like, see, so that was already awesome because I knew most of it. I didn't know palati, and now I'm going to learn that word. So obviously I didn't know it. Um, and but it wasn't too far off palate i feel like i'm going to be remembering pretty easily so i'm going to give it so one is the most difficult and one will basically force me to repeat it today uh two is difficult but not as difficult so i'm going to hit command two and i have a keyboard shortcut and you see what that did it um, added the tag sr uh, it added these four buttons that are just part of the tag and it added this hidden field and in the background, it actually ran a calculation using an external API, and it calculated the next repeat day for this, which is going to be Friday, May 12th. And what I can do now is I can create, I can edit this query, and I can say that I don't want, um, let's see, so we don't want stuff that's tagged with SR. So it might be a bit hard to find that tag here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's too short a tag, so it's hard to find. But we can also just use the field, so it might be easier. So if we do SRS, we'll give that to the right field. And if I now run once, ah, yes, because we want not. At least we know that it's working. So I can just drag that over there. And now we get, so basically what I wanted was kind of an inbox inbox of spaced repetition and I can just pin that so it pops up there and we can put a cool uh, question put a little emoji so we have an inbox and then I want my spaced repetition questions and I'm going to create so let me just create a search node and we want anything that has the fields we don't actually need to put the tag on anything right now my command does that and it gives me those four buttons but I can already feel that I'm going to just use the keyboard shortcut that I've set up. And I might choose to remove that tag and just rely on the field. So I'm going to rely on the field. So we want SRS, let's say, set, meaning that it exists and has a value. Let's see if we get anything. So we have two other ones here that I was kind of playing around with. I'm um, going to just delete these. So we can use hard delete. Oh, it's from a different workspace. And I'll have to go here. Uh, I'm going to 
Oh, this is from my published template, so I'm not going to delete those. Never mind. Thank you, Tana, for not letting me delete those. <laughs> um, yeah, and I've got the one I, I just tagged there. So this will be my spaced repetition. But the thing is, and let's see, what's space? Well, whatever. Um, I don't actually want to see all of my questions because that will be a lot over time. What I want to see is the ones that are due today or due in the future or uh, past due. So um, we want to pick up the SRS field and we want to say uh, for relative day today. relative date. So look down here and you see how it's interpreted. And right now I see that it's interpreted as a string. And we see that the moment I, I hit the right <laughs> formula, it changed. So there's a lot that we could do about this search UI to make it more discoverable. But in the meantime, um, this uh, explanation at least shows you kind of what how it's being interpreted under the hood. So we either want SRS that's due today. And if we run that, we're going to get so this one's actually due today. Yeah, correct. Or uh, what if we miss a day of uh, practice? So let's see, how would we do this? So um, greater than, no less, yeah. So we want less than, and then we want SRS, and then we want, so we want either due today or due before today. And then we get, for example, the one, let's see when this is due, Sunday, which is past. And this one was due, huh, why is that coming up? Oh, is that because I have, wait, no, I don't want that. So it has to have this field, and either SRS has to be, Again, I made this mistake, you see? So yes, it is tricky to get it right. Boom. So once we get it right, we can just keep using it. And of course, this um, is part of my template as well. So I just want to set it up. So let's see. Um, and then instead of um, to exclude this stuff, uh, I'm going to grab a reference to my private space and I'm just going to put that there and that way we get rid of the stuff that's coming from the template as well great so now we got these two I'm going to pin this as well and now we can go back here and look at the inbox and let's see if there's any other easy ones let's see e evgenis siberifora ine semantikis tis pulnikines kies oi the kind behavior, I'm just guessing here, is important for social thought, ideology. I'm really <laughs> putting myself out there. I did not practice this. I don't think I've seen this before. Polite, okay. You know, I'm not far off. Uh, polite behavior, but I did not know the word behavior at all. Siberifora. Siberifora. In a semantic is this pen coinonikes relationship is cases. Okay, so definitely one. Boom, it goes away, you saw, but let's see if it popped up here. It did because I said a one, so I want to repeat it today. So I can take a break, I can come back here, maybe I'll know it, and then uh, it'll be there. Oh, Evgenis Tropos Pu Milices Ton Pelati. Oh, I thought I did this one. Maybe I have two of these, so I can do a harder read on that one. I have gained a similar fora in a pada el pedati. The kind behavior as is completely something. Polite behavior is always welcome. El pedati. I do not know. Okay, so that's the one again. Yeah, anyway, um, I'm going to stop the video there. Uh, this seems to work. I can just go in here anytime I have a little bit of time. I can 
take a few questions off this uh, inbox and um, you know uh, put it into my spaced repetition flow. My spaced repetition flow works well. I've got two questions due today. I can also make another search of questions that are due in the future uh, if I if I finish these. And of course, as I'm taking notes, uh, reading, I can just keep taking um, taking notes and uh, hitting command. For me, it's command one, two, three, four, and it just flows into this thing that makes me ensure that I'll never forget it. So yeah, you should try that.